Hey guys, welcome back to Gail Talk. I'm Gail, and today we'll be discussing and reviewing that new movie Gone in the Night, starring Winona Ryder and Dermot Mulroney. I hope I said his name correctly because I just always known him as um that old man, that handsome old man. Anyway, this movie was first classified when it was dropped in like June or July of 2022 as a horror thriller. Now, as I'm doing this in September, I see that they've changed the genre title to thriller mystery. In my humble opinion, this is more like a mystery drama. You know, there was nothing horrifying. There was nothing thrilling, in my opinion. I think in their opinion as well, because they changed the genre from when it first dropped to now. But either way, you would have seen mixed reviews online. Some people say this was amazing. Some people say this was utter crap. I think it falls somewhere in between. Let me explain. Now, you might be coming out of Stranger Things thinking, yes, Winona Ryder, she's going to be giving me something thrilling, something horrifying, something mysterious. She doesn't. Now, the acting is really great. And before I get into my very short review, I just want to prepare you for what to expect. All right. With this movie, that is. So this movie, right, um, Gone in the Night is special in its own very underwhelming way. Don't let the mixed reviews deter you from watching it because I think it is worth the watch, but you have to go in with very low expectations. You have to, you see, right? This movie, right? It's like, to me, this movie is like experiencing life. So even if you're going through some really dark shit, life still goes on at this very mundane, regular pace. You know what I mean? So there are no monsters or, you know, anything like that in this, but, but, you know, she's going through life. And I, I'm just saying go, th go, go in with low expectations and an open mind and you might come out thinking I did not waste two hours of my life. Was it two hours? No, actually it was just an hour and a half. So you'll come out thinking I didn't waste that hour and a half. But let's just get into the review. So the plot itself, or the very beginning of the movie, where everything starts, Winona Ryder and her very young boyfriend, he's much younger than her, I want to say she's probably like in her 40s or 50s and he's like in his 20s, right? And they are driving up to this cabin in the woods for a getaway. And when they get there, there's already a couple there. And it's at night, so who the hell drive them back? And what kind of did- mm. Don't say that. What kind of foolishness is this that the cabin is double booked? Anyway, the guy talks to the people, they say, how about you spend the night in the cabin and then you be on your way in the morning. They say, cool, thank you very much. And the next morning, her boyfriend is gone. He is gone in the night. All right. That's what the movie is about. Now, what you may have read, if you did, or if you are going to read, what you're going to see on the, on the line describing the plot of this movie is, upon arriving at a remote cabin for a getaway, a woman and her boyfriend discover another couple already staying there. They decided to share the rental for the night, but the boyfriend's disappearance sparks a race for answers. Now, that is also misleading because his disappearance did not spark shit. To say that it sparked a race for answers implies that there was some sort of urgency and there was not. There was absolutely no urgency throughout this entire movie. But I could kind of understand why for her, but to put that in the plot to tease people and just blatantly lie? You're lying, because that's, that's not what happened. But regardless, the boyfriend did disappear. She went to bed. When she got up, he was gone. And remember, there were two other people in the cabin, right? And he is gone. So the plot is intriguing. Where is he? Where did he go? What happened to him? Did somebody do something to him? 
Is he okay? What a lot. Now the the reasoning that she got as to why he was not there, and I'm going to give my perspective on this at the end. No, I'm going to give it now. So somewhat spoiler alert, right? Um she is an older woman who did the marriage thing and is now just looking for peace in her life, right? So for you for well for anybody to say that your boyfriend took my girlfriend and they ran away and left us here especially when you saw them being a little bit flirty the night before it is believable as somebody who has dated younger guys they just be doing the most sometimes and it's, it's just like oh, i'm just too tired for this like i'm just too old for this i've been through this i know you probably want to have fun and do all these crazy things but i've been there done that and i want something else and i am only <laughs> don't worry about that but she is like probably like 51 i'm just guessing she's like 40s 50s right she is tired she is just not on that let me blow down his phone, find out where he is, show by the place, I'm gonna kill the two of them. Like, she's she not on that. Understandable. So when she leaves the cabin and she goes back to her regular life, she not running down no man. Understandably so. I mean, if it was me, I would still want to freaking fight. But, not fight, but you know what I mean. But she not, she, mm. But then her friend kind of plants a seed in her head and says, girl, girl, you really don't want to know? Like, you don't want to talk to her, find out why she did this? Why she take your man? And, in, in a, you know, after that happens, she tries to find out what's happening. What happened? Why you do this to me? Who, who hurt you? Now, through all the movie after that point we get flashbacks flashbacks of everything that happened leading up to the cabin and we understand kind you understand what happened right and with your keen detective skills you are going to put the pieces together and be like ah i know what happened here and you'll probably be right but keep watching not that it gets better per se but just keep watching and when we find out what happens you know you would think you'll be like oh my god because it was a oh shit kind of moment but i was more like oh okay cool because <laughs> everything was just so underwhelming throughout this entire movie i know i'm saying like it, it like bad stuff like not saying the best things about it but at the same time i still think you should watch it okay <laughs> so you know like we've we've all watched enough horror movies or just dramas and listened to enough true crime to know that if something seems weird or off we need to kind of get out of there or don't make it obvious that you 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 figured it out so that they don't know and you are safe right but my girl Winona <laughs> when when she realizes uh oh this is not right something this is definitely suspicious instead of instead of instead of doing anything sensible like okay play cool get out of here just leave he's not here right now the door is right there just leave this seems suspicious maybe i should just like really quickly because he's not like just do anything just like really just right she she does huh i'm confused ah oh, that's weird hmm hmm and then she goes outside, now you're outside, right? He leave you in the room, but now you're outside. And she, y y this is weird, what is that? I wanna know what that is. And instead of like moving with any kind of stealth and tactic or strategy, she's like, huh? Huh? And I'm still moving way too fast because she, to say in the plot that it sparked a race for answers is just lies. 
lies. Anyway, my overall rating for this movie is a 5 out of 10 and I'm being generous because I like Winona Ryder and I like the handsome woman. So I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I will say watch it because you see, even though she doesn't move like we would expect her to move, there are people in this world who are just not confrontational. So it is believable that it, things could happen this way. However, don't ask people to pay money to see this. That is just wickedness. That is just unfair to you, to the viewer. But for the people making the movie, they hired these big time actors. They have to pay them. They have to cover costs and all of that. So they need to trick you to watch this movie so that they can make back some money. I do still think it's worth the watch, but just go in with really low expectations and an open mind. Um, side note, I did take a nap during this movie. At about 48 minutes, I hit pause and I fell into a very deep sleep for about two hours, then got up and continued watching the movie. So it is really underwhelming. Like, it, it's not like a really bad movie. But it's not a particularly good movie, you know what I mean? There are some movies that are just really bad. And some movies that are just so bad that they're kind of good. And then some movies that are really epic. This one kind of falls in between. Or is it that it was just so bad it was really good? It's... It's... It's up in the air. It's up for interpretation. And that's all I'll say on that. If you've seen this movie, I would love to hear your thoughts on how it was. If you want to watch this movie or you watch it after and then come back, I would love to hear what you think about it because it's one of those, this is just a movie I cannot just say it's outright bad because I get it. But at the same time, I don't get why they put it on screen, you know? Just that, that part, I don't get. So yeah. But thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!